all right guys what's up one more j here back again for another one and today gearbox has released some actually good patch notes the other ones are kind of poop but this one is actually decent borderlands 3 patch and hot fixes for october 24 for today bloody harvest has just come out played it a little bit haven't finished it because i'm kind of waiting for the outer worlds to start literally in an hour yep in an hour like seven yeah, it starts at like 7 p.m. Eastern. So, I'm going to be playing that in an hour. And uh, I'm just going to get this out of the way. General, a bunch of console stuff. You don't need to know that. PC, you don't need to know this. This is what you really need to know. Uh, a lot of people were mad about the flacker. I never really used the flacker, so this didn't really affect me. But but most players, they use it a lot. Now it consumes one ammo instead of five. This side was before they changed it, and now they changed it back um bug fixes you can read that if you want to not gonna be one of those forms and stability but this is the main stuff right here like this the bank expanding the bank has been the most con consistent you what consistently oh i'm retarded i could not read that expanding the bank has been the most consistently requested feature by the community we've heard you loud and clear and the groundwork for expanding the bank has already started the first of several planned expansions will coincide with the release of takedown at malawan's black site expect a significant bank expansion that will more than double the existing space thank you but i guarantee you this malawan takedown is coming when did they say well this ends on de december 5th but i guarantee you the malawan takedown is gonna come before december 25th and yeah i guarantee it's gonna come before then but i don't know because they said the malawan takedown is going to be a raid type thing and since it's going to be a raid type thing is it i'm thinking it's going to be year round so we might just be able to download that right after december 5th then we still might get a christmas event because i don't think gearbox is gonna recognize thanksgiving because that's just an american thing and i guarantee you they're not gonna even recognize it even though gearbox is an american company i'm pretty sure i don't think they're gonna recognize it so yeah also dedicated loot pools for bosses like in borderlands 2 dedicated loot for bosses first thing off the top of my head the infinity pistol you got it from doc murphy or mitchell one of the two the guy in the by three pigs or yeah three pigs motel um what's another one maggie you got that from killing the the irish people not the hoedunks the other ones um the Lyuta, you got that from killing those two guys who jump out the grave i keep forgetting i know exactly where they are but i forget their names but yeah dedicated loot pools for bosses this is another very important one now then we're working which bosses get to rewrite okay it says right here as part of a november patch so this big patch will be coming out in november at some point either early or late they haven't quite said but i'm guessing it's gonna be i would assume november 20th and later i guarantee it's not gonna come out in the first week few weeks it's probably gonna be november 20th and later that that's gonna come out but i don't really know character buffs in the late game this is basically just gonna buff iron bear flax pets no one and zane's digi clone i don't see why you would want to rely on these builds because if you rely on these builds you basically have no gun damage and this game is all about shooting guns i guess just make them a little bit better but i don't see why people want to rely full builds on just using pets and iron bear that seems terrible to me because like it, the iron bear runs out a lot and so what are you gonna do when it runs out do no damage pets are very unreliable especially when they die and when they die they die for about two minutes so if they're dead for two minutes what are you gonna do no gun damage digi clone and sentinel these things run out extremely fast i, th I thought these were already buffed too pretty sure gearbox already buffed these i guess they need another buffing and uh one thing i really didn't have a problem with but a lot of people do mayhem levels i felt like mayhem levels were fine i just uh i didn't i just don't like all the random modifiers that they have 
aka the ricochet one where when you shoot something it bounces back i think that should be taken out of the game completely it shouldn't be in there it does too much damage either make it do 10 percent or less than the damage you dealt so it's not like something that's gonna always kill you but a minor inconvenience like it just keeps hitting you and you could die from it if you don't you know watch your health but that it just shreds you like each time i tried that using a Lyuda or another fully automatic weapon against grave ward i almost died each time and it just made fighting him thus 10 times harder than it should have been because of when you would get it it i promise you it would come like five times in a row and i keep having to reload and reload and reload and reload it was terrible but yeah the first update will be released as part of the takedown at malawan's black site and includes the first new mayhem level mayhem 4 now then mayhem 4 will reward players who are truly up for the challenge and in mayhem 4 they'll have specific loot pools for everything so specific legendary weapons or uniques will be in mayhem 4 and in nothing else and i i like that i like that. i felt like that's how mayhem 3 should have been and also i don't think it says it here yeah i don't it doesn't say it here at all but i wish that mayhem levels would be i wish that mayhem level four exactly would be in true vault hunter mode only because there's no reason to play true vault hunter mode at this point there's literally no reason to play it i haven't even well i have gone into it but i'm not even past the first like area because there's no reason for me to play through the game again and plus yeah this this is the main reason skippable cinematics i hate going through cinematics i hate it in bo2 and i hate it in other games destiny you can thank god skip them i'm pretty sure last time i played you can skip them so yeah this will be coming but they don't know when exactly basically what i got from this was there's certain things in the game that that the cinematic has to play out that no one thought to do this earlier but they made the game rely on having the cinematic play to progress the story so you can read it right here but yeah in order to make sure mission progression isn't negatively impacted we need to inspect each cinematic and make sure those events still work correctly i'm guessing this is going to be out by the end of the year and i'm guessing maybe the december patch when the malawan takedown comes out is going to be like the big year patch i'm guessing all of this stuff if it isn't in there already is going to be in that patch it's probably gonna be like a 10 gig maybe 15 gig patch i don't know exactly but i'm guessing that's what it's going to be because this patch today was already four gigs and it was just one thing I'm guessing it's been a really huge patch at the end of the year probably like an early christmas present or something like that but yeah that's what gearbox is going to do for that also a target dummy i really didn't mind this i felt like one should have been in the game but i wasn't really complaining about it but it will help me make uh the weapon reviews easier because it has a target dummy now i don't need i i don't even know what i was trying to say right there i just sounded weird like a cat or something but i don't know why it's literally gonna take them this long because yeah it says right here some point in december it's just a target dummy what do they mean some point in december shouldn't they just be able to add like a bandit in the thing just like marcus's old thing or give us like one that's just strapped to a table or something until they make a better one it would be it should be so easy for gearbox to make a target dummy i don't understand why it's going to take till december and i have taken coding classes but i guarantee it's nothing like this but still december i don't think it should take that long but i'm guessing they have this as like low priority so it's just going to come out in the big patch with everything else. That's the only thing I can assume because it should not take them that long to put in a training dummy. And the future. The list above is only a high level look at what some of our teams are working on. Stay tuned as we continue. Yada, yada, yada. Okay. Well, this is really what everyone's been complaining about. Also, um, I want DLCs to be story extensions and not just side quest DLC type things like tiny teen is assault on dragon keep that sort of progressed the story like it was 
it was a dlc it was like a side game dlc but it still progressed the story it showed how tina got over roland dying that's what i want to see from these how ava grows up what does she do next because right now ava's a pretty trash character and i don't want to and like they left the story off really really bad if the story and the next DLCs, like, if the next DLCs aren't basically story DLCs, like how Zombies does it, like Black Ops Zombies, each DLC progresses the story. That's how I want this to be. Because right now, Borderlands 3 story is trash. I'm just going to say it. Literally, everyone was better than Ava. Everyone's a better choice. Tiny Tina, better choice. Mordecai, way better choice. Brick, he was even a better choice. Tannis, it more than likely should have been Tannis. She's also a siren. I guess she's not that great of a leader, but still. Tannis was the best option out of everyone there. Or Tiny Tina, those two. Also, Claptrap literally could have been it, and he would have been a way better choice than Ava. He's been around for so long. He knows everything about Sanctuary, Pandora, all the vaults, everything like that. He could have been the new commander of the crimson raiders it would have made more sense than ava i don't understand why she gave the reins to ava and then like just threw herself at the moon i get why she threw herself at the moon she had to stop it but still it made no sense to make ava the captain balex would have been a better captain he just got there as well i'm just saying ava made literally no sense and she hasn't even discovered her siren powers yet i don't think it's been a minute since i played the story but i don't think ava did any of that so yeah, I want more story DLCs. I get that this first Malawan one is going to be, it's going to be a raid type thing, raid dungeon type thing. And uh, it shouldn't be taken, I guess, super seriously because it still is free DLC. But for the paid DLC, because I paid a hundred bucks for the paid DLC, it I'm hoping it's story progressing DLC that's going to take what the story already did and progress ava a little bit more or give it to tiny tina or tannis or literally anyone else besides ava she makes no sense she's a, what is she like a 10 year old kid it makes no sense but uh yeah that's that's what these patch notes are really about this is some of the best patch notes we've had because gearbox has not been nerfing everything to the ground in this patch notes they actually buffed something for once I'm still mad what they did to the king and queen's call. I, I made a whole thing about it. Couldn't even use it because it came out after this happened. The Lyuta had something for that. Nothing. I couldn't use it. Because I didn't. Because it was made before they broke the Lyuta. Now it doesn't do as much damage. What else did they break? They broke a lot of other stuff. Um, I can't remember any of the guns off the top of my head. But yeah. Gearbox is broken. Oh, yeah, Flack. They keep nerfing him, and he's the only level 50 character I have. They keep breaking Flack. They sort of fixed him, but pre post Flack wasn't that broken, especially on Mayhem 3. Because the modifiers cuck every character. That's what they should think about the true in game players, not the ones who just run around, shoot stuff, maybe play the game once every six months just so they can see what the new DLC is, but people who play it every day. Like I was trying to get stuff out, but yeah. But oh uh, yeah, that's it. These patch notes, they were alright. They were pretty. They were pretty dope. I finally get it's more. Well, it's really isn't patch notes to me. It's more so a roadmap to everything that's gonna be going on until December. Can't wait to see what they're gonna do from January to September. But from here on to December, we're pretty much packed with a lot of stuff. So uh yeah, it's been one boat J and thanks. About to play the Outer Worlds in 30 minutes, and I'm out.